What's going on guys? So I had some uh, red worms left over from yesterday's trip. I uh, don't want them to go to waste, so we're just gonna microfish this canal that is near me and that lawnmower is a little bit loud. But we got this little Tanago hook that we're gonna be going with, just a little piece of worm, split shot behind that. We'll drop it down in this canal and let's hope we can get some different micros out of here. Alrighty, so there is the little piece of red worm on the small little Tanago hook. I'm just gonna drop this straight down here. I've had some success here in the past, just dropping these little worms around these rocks. I haven't fished here. Oop, am I? There we go. I haven't fished here though in a while, probably, I don't know, eight or 10 months. So let's see what kind of fish are here today. There we go. Got a little guy, what is this thing? Got a little Salvini cichlid. All right, so there is our first fish of the day. It's a little Salvini cichlid. I have caught plenty of these guys out of this canal, so nothing special. And this one's actually a little bland in color. Some of these guys have these really nice yellow, red, and kind of neon electric blue colors. So we will let this one go and we will get back at it. I think we, I saw a nice Salvini over there, a good looking one. Got him. Nicer color, not the best looking Salvini, but nicer than the last one. Yeah, so this guy is slightly too big, I'd say, for this little micro photo tank. I could probably fill it up with a little bit more water. So nicer colors on this one, but still not the nicest Salvini that I've pulled out of here. So let's get this guy off the hook. Let's try to look for one with some nicer colors on him. Got him. Another little Salvini. Yeah, so this guy is much like the first. Smaller in size, blander in color. Not much else I could say about this one, so we'll let this one go and try to catch one that looks a little bit better. Got him. What is this? I'm sure it's another Salvini. Little guy, right? Yes, it is, little Salvini. Yeah, so another rather bland looking Salvini. I'll drop this guy back. I'll make a few more casts here. I think I'm gonna try to find maybe another spot. So usually right off of this bridge along all these rocks and whatnot, I can usually get a good amount of Salvinis and usually have some nice sizes. Today they all look pretty small though and a little bland in color. So I might walk my way down this canal, try to find a new spot for these guys. Oh, got one. Smallest one of the day. Is it a Salvini? It is. Alrighty, so there are enough Salvini cichlids in here to open up a little pet store. So this is another rather small one, bland in color, nothing super special about him. So we'll drop this guy back and we'll keep going. Oop, got one. What, ooh, what is this thing? Oh yes, this is what I wanted. Look at the size and colors of this Salvini. 
All right, so this guy is a full-grown adult. This is exactly what I was looking for. He might grow a little bit bigger, but definitely not by much. Beautiful yellow coloration, nice red on the belly. Those really bright, bright blue accents all over the body. This is a beautiful fish. They're probably gonna be the catch of the day. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this one. So let's get this guy back and let's, let's at least try to beat it. Got one little baby mosquito fish. Not my favorite, but always nice to get a little variety. Got him. This is another nice one. Yes. Saw this guy come out from under those rocks. And this is another nice Salvini. Yeah, so I don't know if this guy is bigger or nicer colored, but he's definitely on par. This is another beautiful, beautiful Salvini cichlid. So let's take a couple pictures and then we'll get this guy back. Oh, I got something small. What is this thing? Oh, first native fish of the day, little bluegill. All right, my mistake. This is actually the second native fish. I forgot about that little uh, eastern mosquito fish we got a couple minutes ago. But first bluegill of the day. There's not too many of those guys left in here. So that's a pretty cool little catch. Oh, something took it. Oh, this might be the best colored one yet. Look at this guy. All right, definitely smaller than those other two beautiful ones that I caught, but the red on this one is so much nicer. I hope it comes out well. I don't know if it's coming out well here live on camera, but in person, this thing is an absolute beauty. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if it came out well in the photo tank, so I'm just going to show them to you one more time because you have to appreciate the beautiful colors on this beautiful fish. So we'll get this guy back. Maybe we'll get something else, but color-wise, we're not going to beat this one. Got one. All right, another one of those little bland color ones. So we'll take a quick pick, and I think this might be the end. We'll see. And I think this will do it. This is probably the smallest of the day. So we'll take a pick. We'll let this little guy go. And then I'll be back with a quick wrap up. All right, so that is going to do it. As you can probably tell from my lack of dry clothing, it was very, very hot today once again somewhere in the 90s lost a whole bunch of sweat but still a very good day caught mostly salvini cichlids i think one mosquito fish and one bluegill uh, a lot of these salvinis are a little bit smaller a little bit more boring 
but those three really, really nicely colored ones, kind of the, the larger ones, those were absolutely beautiful. And catching even one of those is kind of what, what makes me want to come out here and target those fish because they are just beautiful. Uh, that kind of tells you how they ended up in these canals. Very popular in the aquarium trade because of their colors. At some point, I think it was in the 80s that they were first spotted uh, kind of in the wild feral populations. Someone released them from the aquarium and then they've been kind of reproducing in these canals ever since. And I probably released well over $100 worth of Salvinis because those nicer, larger ones, they go for $30, $40. And even the smaller ones go uh, for 10 15 20 So if I had the room, I would definitely start a uh, Salvini selling business on online because I got all the Salvinis I could want right here. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Hope you liked the beautiful fish. And I will see you next time.